Hey, everybody, welcome to episode 12 of the Spartan Tool Procast, brought to you by the International Institute of Sewer and Pipe Cleaning, where you can send your technicians to a two day course, get them trained by the best in the industry, get them certified as a drain cleaner. You can visit those guys at www.sewerinstitute.com. I am your co-host, Mike Seacotch, and with me as always is Eric Boonstra. I am not doing jazz hands, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> and our lovely producer, Emily Simmons. Eric, Emily, how you guys doing today? T-G-I-F. That's right. Man, <laughs> glad it's Friday. I don't know why everybody says that. I mean, I, I you know... I look forward to going back to work tomorrow. I don't know what your guys' problem is. <laughs> I'm not even going home tonight. I'm just going to caught up out back. And Well, that's usually what I do. I don't even sleep. I just wait to go lying. back to work the next day. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, again, welcome to Episode 12. i uh, got an exciting episode for you today. But before we jump into that, Emily, why don't you recap Episode 11 for our viewers, please? Yeah, Episode 11 last week we talked with – Charles Samuel, he's our JET team lead. So it was a great meet the team episode. We got to talk to Charles about um, what all goes into building the toughest jetters in the industry and what his favorite Spartan equipment is. So you can check that out on our Facebook page or on our YouTube channel. Built by the toughest team in the industry too. Charles is, right. a, Charles is a great guy. We've got a really good team back in JET. We'll get the rest of the team out eventually, but a uh, really good episode. So well, I have but a for feeling we'll day. be seeing. I have a feeling we'll be seeing Charles co-hosting at some point in time here in a not too distant future, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Emily's probably going to fire you, Eric. Anyway, is probably a good <laughs> point. So, hey, episode twelve today. We're talking safety. We're talking jet hose preventative maintenance. We're talking a lot of good stuff with Cam Howie from H Two T R. If you can check out the manhole safety guide ring behind us. That is distributed by Spartan Tool. Uh, this is a product line that we've had now for two wet shows. Um, Cam came to our booth in 2019, introduced himself. Um, I took, I think, my entire sales team over to their booth, and we were all incredibly impressed with the product that he has. Uh, so we definitely thought it'd be a great idea to bring Cam on here. Tell us about his background because he is a great individual. He's got a good story and a great product. So. Without further ado, Cam Howie, welcome to the Procast. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Hey, Cam. Hey, how you doing? How you doing today, bud? Thanks for having me. It's exciting oh. to be here with you guys. We've been watching oh, your podcast here for the last few weeks and keeps us going through this tough time. Awesome. Well, we're glad you're able to join us today. So, hey, let's Look at jump that right around. Look What's at that, that background, Eric. Look at that background. Me and oh. you need something like that. Oh, man, I, got a whole, I got a whole freaking mural. <laughs> I hey, this is eight, this years is this years of history here. H two T R headquarters in St. John's, Michigan. There, there you go, yeah. Emily. That's we need world, the world headquarters. The Procast. World headquarters. <laughs> Got to start somewhere. That's it. Yeah. So, hey, Cam, tell us. Uh, let's jump right into this. Give us a little bit of background on you and how H two came to be. I mean, I don't think anybody just wakes up and says, "Hey, I'm going to build a manhole ring today." <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of when you ask that, it's kind of a neat story. So uh, background on myself is grew up in Michigan, in northern Michigan, um, <clears throat> went to college, shared LCC, got my paramedic fire science degree and uh, segued into the fire service. Uh, spent 26 years with the city of East Lansing, uh, retired as a fire captain out of there, tech rescue guy. So when we were doing tech rescue, uh, confined space, manhole entry, we would we'd have to go down with airlines, rope line, communication lines attached to us for a rescue, what have you. And what we would use is old jacketed fire hose, and we'd line that manhole casting with it. And we'd have to have somebody manning that while we're going down in there. And I said, man, there's got to be a better way to provide safety for making entry in here. And so one day we were doing a big metro training in Lansing, and just the light came on. I said, there's got to be some type of a ring that you can drop in a manhole that will protect our personnel and our equipment going down in that manhole. And uh, I came up with the idea. I had an engineer draw it up with myself, uh, came up with our first one was made out of wood. Actually, it was made out of an old, you see the barrels on the side of the road, the construction oh, yeah. barrels, the rubber part of that's actually a truck tire that's been cut. Oh, yeah. So that's what I started with, just trying to get my angles right. And uh, next thing you know, I had a gentleman in Charlotte, Michigan, make me the first mold. And uh, 
here we are with the final product 10 years later, still in business. Um, so kind of a unique story. And it's one of those things that the show's guys tease me. They're like, Cammy invented the next toothpick because <laughs> it's simple. It's effective. It works. Uh, not a lot of moving parts and what have you, but, uh, other than that, busy. I just retired in January. Happy to be retired. Got out of there at the right time, for sure. Uh, yeah. My wife and I, we, we have a place in northern Michigan, uh, so we're up there a lot, snowmobiling in the winter, side by side, fishing and hunting, and uh, just having a good time, you know, enjoying retirement. Well, first of all, uh, you know, we appreciate your uh, service as a civil servant. That's uh, it's a rare breed, and my brother, my brother's actually a firefighter in Ann Arbor. So uh, okay. we certainly appreciate what you guys do every day for us. Nobody, nobody can truly appreciate that. So thank you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. So are all the other first responders out there. It's a tough time right now for everybody. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, you know, and, and Cam, you said it, you know, you got another toothpick here. It's, it's funny because all these good ideas happen by you're, you're doing, you know, your job. And then all of a sudden, you just think of something else that takes you to a different trade or a different industry, right? So uh, exactly. you know, I just think every good idea kind of happens that way. It's always kind of like an aha moment, right? And it was kind of the same thing when we first met. You know, I looked at this thing like, <laughs> you, know, what, you know, it's it, it's simple, right? I mean, how am I going to sell this thing? But, you know, as we just started talking, you know, different key points about, you know, it being orange, well, that's, that's, that's a safety color, right? So as our technicians are taking off manhole covers in a green field, now we have this here. So that's, that, that tells my technician that he can see that orange ring and he's not going to accidentally step in that manhole, right? Um, you know, and, and as far as preventative maintenance for your jet hoses, cameras. So why don't we get into that? Why don't we talk about the ring that you have in front of you and just talk about the different applications that we can actually use that in? Sure. Yeah, no problem. So, like I said, just to backtrack a little bit, designed it for uh, confined space entry. So technicians going in to do a rescue of a municipal worker that possibly didn't, you know, monitor CO levels. They became overcome by gas. Who do they call? Fire department. We'd go in with our tech teams and do the extraction. So uh, the idea of, well, guys, we to go back. So I had that envision that I was going to sell the fire departments all across the world. And that segued into contractors, municipalities, different, you know, applications for the ring. Never saw this ring doing what it's been doing for the last eight years. Um, what we found is the jetter guys, the camera guys, Spartan tool specifically, this works for you guys because it is protecting your fiber optic line, um, your jetter hose line. So if you look at the construction of the ring here, <clears throat> basically, this is made out of ABS, high density plastic, so it can withstand impact. Okay, we, we went through a lot of different plastics and we found that this was the toughest. We did drop tests with it, we did shock tests with it, and the ABS holds up the best. Um, say this is our casting right here of our manhole. This is a clean casting. This is actually an adjustment ring. I wasn't strong enough anymore to carry in a whole casting, but I do have one. Um, these sharp edges here, when we're <clears throat> basically running a jetter hose over the top of this, we're wearing it. And what they used in the past was called the top edge tiger tail. Well, the top edge tiger tails wear out pretty quickly. The guys were fine. So when I designed this, I designed this with a three and a half inch flange. So when we insert this into the actual manhole, it grabs. And when they're pulling on it with the jetter hose, it's locking it back against the casting. So it's not gonna retract out. I've had jetter guys tell me, hey, well, you know, sometimes the, the ring will pop out. Well, the fix to that is you take the, the manhole lid and you lay it on the opposite side of the ring, and that will hold your ring in place. It's not going to come out on you. Uh, safety orange is huge. We know in this industry safety is paramount, so we have to identify that open manhole. Um, so that's the idea. I've had people, can you make them in green? Can you make them in blue? Can you make them in yellow? No, safety orange is our color. Uh, no moving parts on this, so there's nothing to fall off of it. There's nothing to break. Um, this is a nice, smooth transition. As you can see here, as the jetter hose goes over, there's no sharp edges. It's protected. <clears throat> when this is actually in the, in the manhole on the surface, the reason for the outside diameter, the lip there, is if you have miscellaneous tools, carabiners, or anything, 
that they're not going to get knocked into the hole on top of whatever's down there, whether it's your camera unit or personnel. Okay. Uh, we found in the hot areas of the country, Arizona, Florida, these castings can get up over 300 degrees. So touching that casting, there's a thermal issue. So when we drop our ring in, that's protecting the individual or anybody working around the manhole. That's a good point. Some, yep. So it's got some thermal um, <clears throat> good capabilities there. Uh, in terms of where this is used, this used, I have people in Alaska using this thing where it's minus 20 degrees. It's not breaking on them. Uh, the thermal capabilities of her are down to minus 40, up to 180 degrees with no deflection in the ring. And that's another reason we went with ABS. But the biggest thing is this product is made in Michigan, USA. So number yeah. one right there. I get asked all the time, you know, you can make this a lot cheaper elsewhere. And I said, I know it can, but uh, made in the USA right in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So I have a good relationship just like we have with you in Spartan and Michigan, two Michigan companies there. So that, that, that's was another selling, that was another selling point for us, Cam. You guys are right down the road. I mean, we definitely believe in what you guys are doing now. Absolutely. I should probably get this off my uh, fireplace mail because my wife sees that I got a piece of uh, sewage. <laughs> Man, I was kill me. But I just want to explain to you guys. So I'm 240 pounds of raw steel every single day, right? Olympic I, athlete. There you go. <laughs> Olympic swimmer. <laughs> I can jump on this ring all day long. I'm dropping wrenches on it. You know, we're, we're dropping impacts on it. We don't ever have any issues out of this. We've, we've not had one break. And, Cam, I think that's a testament, too, to how good this product's made and, and um, you know, the, the relationship that you have with them is the fact that, you know, we've not had to, since we've started our relationship, warranty one or even replace one at this point. You know, listen, eventually things are going to happen, you know, but uh, it's, it's just a testament to how strong this material actually is. Thank you. Yeah, that was a lot went into that. And a lot of people have told me I over engineered it, made it too tough. But from my background, being a firefighter, tech rescue guy, we overdo everything because safety is paramount. So first couple of rings I sold were to the city of East Lansing and they had some of their municipal, municipal guys drop it in the manhole and jump up and down on it as hard as they could. And they couldn't get it to break. So it's yeah. one thing I want to point out to Cam, because listen, there's a few of these that are that are on the market, right? But between the, the, um, the durability of this thing and then on the front here on top, this is a smooth edge. Yes. You know, I want to point out there, there are some other rings that are on the market, but they have a lip over top of here. So it looks yeah. just like, you know, this lip underneath. Uh, the problem is if I have that on top of a manhole guy or a manhole, you know, that, that's a trip hazard now at that point. You know, so we just really, really like the design of this ring. I mean, it, it works for our customers on a daily basis. Um, you know, ergonomically, it's just, it's, it's the best fit for us. Simple, but effective. Yeah. Yeah. So Cam, this has been our number one seller. Uh, but I know you got a couple different size rings. There's a couple different applications too, that you, you've just come out with as well. Uh, so why don't you take us through kind of your product line and show our viewers that? Sure. So the MPR 100 was the flagship of H2TR. That was the first ring we came up. So this ring will accommodate a 21 inch to a 24 inch manhole opening. And that's probably the most common manhole size around the United States and throughout the country and Canada. But I do have some older infrastructure that's a 20 inch inside opening. So then we drop down to the MPR 75 and this model right here will fit a 19 to 21 inch. And then What's becoming in common in the industry now, especially in the southern states, i.e. Texas, is they're mandating a 32 to 36 inch inside opening. So therefore, we had to produce another size. So everything carry, bigger down yeah, there. Yeah, oh yeah. So we carry three different sizes. We can accommodate any size opening in the entire U.S. and Canada. So that's our three sizes. We have uh, brackets. So some of the contractors out there will say, "Well, where do I put this ring?" You know, do I throw it in a cab? What do I do with it? So we have what's called the MPR um, ring retainer, an RR, and basically it's spring-loaded. They mount it to the truck or trailer, and this holds the ring. So it's not in the cab. It's not in their way. Uh, we produce that, and uh, we've had good success with that. And that's been about it on the three different sizes. The construction is exactly the same. It's just the inside opening is the difference. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you want to talk about the PPR, Mike? Yeah, so yeah. Uh, 
yeah, as far as, uh, you know, clean out protection, what do you got, Cam? Okay, so four inch clean out, residential, commercial, it can be cast or it can be PVC. What I've been told, because I'm not a plumber, so this will be more on you guys, is when they're jetting or cameraing, they can cut the fiber optic or the jetter cable just like they will over casting. So what we did is we designed and patented the PPR four inch. So basically that locks on there, you got 360 degrees of edge protection. Yeah, and Eric can attest to this too. You know, a lot of times, Cam, we're more worried about damaging the threads on that clean out. Okay. Right? If you're pulling that back, you know, then we can't get a clean out plug back in. Then what do we do at that point, sure. right? Now, so for, for somebody like me in the Cincinnati area, we have a lot of oddball size clean outs, right? Uh, three and a half inch seems to be our, our big one here. Okay. So do you guys have any other sizes than the four inch or is four inch kind of standard? Well, for us right now, four inch is standard. We're, we'll be making every size, three, four, whatever you guys need in the future. But right now, that was the biggest request was a four inch clean out that will fit cast and PVC. So that's what we started with. We've had real good success with this, but you know, obviously we're open to making whatever size the customer needs. Sure. And Annette, is that made out of the same material, Cam? Yeah, this is ABS plastic right here, just like the big ring. So simple but effective. Um, we didn't do orange because we're not identifying an, an open hazard area. Although right. some of the contractors have said, I wish you would have made it orange. I wouldn't leave it behind every time. <laughs> <laughs> a little so, bit of spray paint will help that. Yeah, you can make it any color. You can customize the color without voiding a warranty. I forgot to go back, you guys, on the ring. We offer a one-year manufacturer warranty on all our rings. Um, so, you know, if you break one of these things for some reason, I'm going to send you a new one free of charge. And that goes with Spartan. I mean, if you guys have an issue with the ring, call me up and you got it in a day. Perfect. Yeah, another thing, Cam, I mean, just throwing this throwing this unit around, I mean, the old days, Eric, remember our old manhole rollers we'd have to put on top of there? <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, those things around, and, you know, they were just heavy. They were awkward. It was another big piece of equipment we had to keep in the back of the truck. You know, oh, yeah. with our generous Cam, I, you know, it is nice with the, with the enclosure, especially like the Warrior, right? You know, the guys will keep our their manhole guide right in the back of that unit. We moved sure. the – move the fill reel to the front of it. So now we have more room for, you know, toolboxes, things of that nature, but it's nice. They just throw that in there with the old roller systems that are outdated. You know, nobody wants to be lugging those things around anymore. Yeah. yeah that was a, the biggest selling point for a lot of guys that come through the shoulder. Like we are so done with those top edge rollers, you know, it's coming off the roller. It's the time of setting them up. They're like, can we grab your product? We drop it in the hole. We've covered our safety. We got 360 degrees of edge protection. We're going to work. Right. So. Yeah. And I'm trying to find that in the Institute guide here. So my Institute book here, Cam, we actually got a picture of the old rollers. Um, but we always have a, a, a manhole guide that's up front in class. And it's the first thing guys are wanting to know what it is, where they can get it, how many they can get. So. Sure. Um, it's, 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 you know, just having this thing sitting at the front, it kind of piques their curiosity. You know, you start talking about it. And, and again, I mean, a toothpick, but it's ingenious, right? You know, right. it's just a, a product that somebody needed, and, and it's a very well-made product. Yeah, we were happy. Uh, we got our U.S. patent, which would have been a year and a half ago, finally. So <laughs> it was a long haul, but we got the patent on it, and that, that was big for us. And I think that speaks highly of the, of the product and what it is, too. So Yeah, so with – with your retirement now, Cam, I know, so are you solely focused now on H2TR? I thought I was coming to work for you. <laughs> that might be Eric's team. <laughs> you don't want me. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah, we, we need some, uh, we need somebody else in the jet department. You come help, help build some jets. Heck yeah, I will. <laughs> no, so yeah, I have the retirement through the city of East Lansing, which I'm very fortunate to have. Uh, yes, my priority is H2TR. Um, the goal was to do as many expos as we could this year. And then of course COVID hit. So it's going to be a little change of tune there. Um, I have another business, a safety consulting firm, which I do uh, safety consulting work for race car teams across the country. I've done a couple of hyper Netflix productions. So I'm busy with that. Um, have extensive background working with Indy cars for the last 20 years. So got a lot of stuff going on, but mostly the safety consulting and then the, the H2TR are my priorities right now. Good. So, Eric, coming from an operations standpoint, 
I mean, safety is number one. You know, the plant, uh, the Always. plant at Spartan Tool is, is your baby. So why don't you talk to, you know, the, the safety points of this ring? You know, you were there with me. Me and you uh, went to Cam's booth in 2019. I think that's what we were both hooked on. So you know, what, what stands out to you about H2TR and their products? Well, I did, you know, first of all, the color, I mean, you, you can't hardly miss it. I mean, that's the, you know, the big thing is if you got an open, you know, you got an open manhole, I mean, obviously you should be doing everything you can to protect that open area. You don't want anybody inside that area that shouldn't be in that area. So you can cone it off, but secondarily for the people that are working in that area to have something that really brightens up and identifies the, you know, the, the access point, the manhole or whatever it is you might be working in. That's, that's huge. And, you know, and beyond secondarily beyond that, I mean, if you're, you're running a camera system or you're running a jet hose to be able to just get it over the edge like that and not have to deal with the rollers on the top side, you know, that's again, I could say that that roller is awkward and cumbersome and um, this, you know, gives you a nice smooth access point and edge. You're not tearing up hose. Now, listen, I gave you the operation side. You'd leave sales to me. Hey, <laughs> listen, it's in, it's in my blood. I, I was, you know, I passed the torch off to you. I just got to, you know, I, every now and then I got to get in a refresher course. <laughs> no, and that's, you know, I, I want to stress that too. I mean, guys, safety number one. I mean, this is between, uh, you know, Cam uh, and, and his wife and and the relationship that we have. But but the safety was number one with this. But the aspect of the the PM as far as, uh, like uh, Erica just said, your push rod, your jet hose. Guys, those aren't cheap. Push rods are not cheap. Jet hoses are not cheap. You know, and, and what's going to happen when your technician over time just keeps rubbing down that jacket, rubbing down that jacket. Let's say with a jet hose, you know, you're running a 4018 unit. Um, you know, guys will put tape over. They're trying to hide that. And then they end up forgetting that there is that, uh, you know, rubbed area. And God forbid that that jet hose blows at that time. So, you know, again, going back to the safety, but also guys want to replace jet hoses all the time. You know, you're replacing a hose for $1,500 to $2,000, you know, just on, you know, a, a kind of a residential jet. You know, Cam, you start getting into our, our big combi units and everything else. These hoses are a lot more than $1,500. So an investment like this to keep your technician safe, keep your equipment safe is just a no brainer. Yeah, I have uh, contractors come through the show each year, and they're like, Cam, you saved us $15,000 in jet hose just alone last year, just with two rings. And I'm like, wow, great. You know, and they're like, give me two more. These things work. They're effective. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah it does, doesn't take much to abrade a hose and, and wreck it, you know. So Right. And the fiber optics, let's face it, you ding one of those, you're not splicing that. You're not putting no. a coupler on a fiber optic hose. You're nope. done. You're, out, you're not working. Lost time. Lost money, so. Yep. Yeah. You hear it all the time. Sense. Nobody's happy when their camera's down. Correct. So. Yeah, no, I mean, guys, this is this is something that should be, we firmly believe, should be on every service truck. You guys are going to run into a situation. You have tools in your tool bag right now that you don't use every single day, but you keep that tool in your tool bag because eventually you're going to get to that home, you're going to get to that building, you're going to need that tool. It's the same thing with this. You know, I might not pull my six foot ladder off the truck every day. By God, I know eventually I'm going to need that six foot ladder. That's that's where H2TR comes into play, you know, especially with their four inch cover. You know, we're running into four inch covers almost every single day. You know, Cam runs into that, you know, here in Cincinnati, like I said, we just, we run things at three and a half inch. That's how they've always done it. But, uh, you know, with these manhole guides too, you know, you may not be a drain cleaning technician, but your drain techs are going to get busy, and, and what happens? Now the plumber has to throw the, the 1065 on the truck or the jet on the truck or whatever, and they have to go do that job. So this is just something that everybody should have on their truck. I'm, I'm a firm believer in that. I mean, Cam, again, these are these are great products. I can't say enough about them. Uh, you know, these things have flown off our shelves. And, Emily, hopefully you can put a link up here um, to these manhole guides um, so that our viewers can go see that. Yep, there's a link in the comments. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah, that, that four inchers, you know, there's something for everybody here. I mean, especially yeah. even that, that four incher for those guys that might not be jetting, but they're cabling. I mean, there ain't nothing worse than not being able to put a clean out plug back in a customer's <laughs> customer's clean out. So, right. So, we got a comment here, Cam, from uh, one of our territory managers down south 
says, I have a few guys in the field using these rings right now, and it's definitely a great product. Great. I love to hear it. I love to hear it. So, again, Cam, interesting background, interesting how you got uh, H2TR off the ground. So a few minutes left here. What advice would you give to somebody that's looking to get into our trade? I mean, you and um, Lisa are at all these trade shows all year round. You guys talk to everybody in the industry. What are you seeing and what, what kind of advice would you give to somebody wanting to get started in this field? Well, I think it's a great industry to be in. I mean, it's it's something new to me. Like I knew nothing about it nine years ago. Absolutely nothing. And it's the biggest thing I can say, what a great welcoming family. Everybody's there to help you, i.e. Spartan Tool. When I met you guys, just opened right up. You didn't. You could have told me to go away. You said, no, I'm interested in that. Give me five minutes because I've got 20 people pulling at me, but I'll come over there. And you guys did. So I just think that it's, it's a big family and everybody's trying to do the same thing. We're trying to improve infrastructure around the country. We're trying to do it in a safer manner. And between Spartan Tool, what you guys are doing out there and what we're doing, we're just trying to make it better. I think it's a great field to go into. Um, everyone I've talked to said during this rough time, everybody's been doing exceptionally well on their upwell swing, not their downward swing. So that says something about our industry. You know, we are essential. We're still out there doing what we got to do. Um, and I think that's important. I think it's a great trade to get into. Um, I know you guys have the Institute. I would highly encourage anybody to look into that Institute, go down there, get the information you need. Talk to Mike, talk to Eric, talk to these professionals that have been out there doing it a long time. It might just be the field for you. I can tell you there's good people out there. There's lots to do. And, uh, I would encourage lots of people to look into it. Kind of sounds like the culture we've been talking about for 11 episodes, Eric. Pretty much. It's just such a, it's just such an awesome trade. I mean, Mike and I have been fortunate enough to meet a lot of, a lot of awesome people in the industry like Cam and all of our other vendor partners that we work with. And it's, it's not just, uh, it's not just business. They're just good overall relationships. And that's probably my favorite aspect of what we do. So yeah, it's great, great trade to be in great industry. I look forward every year just to doing going on to the wet show, seeing you guys, seeing so and so. You know, it's you see them once a year because some of them are all over the country, but they're just good people and they're yeah. willing to help you. And just to, I've made a ton of great connections through the yeah. the whole yeah. industry, and and it's so much different than the fire service. You know, it's like it's like two different gears. You know. And yep. Yeah, and and you know, honestly, Cam, Eric, and I, and the rest of the team, we look forward to talking to competitors at these shows. Sure. You know, we have great relationships with, with most of all of our competitors. You know, again, Cam, it's, we all want the industry to go further, right? Yeah. You know, it's, it's good competition. You keep us on our heels, and we're going to yeah. keep engineering the best products there are. But, um, yeah, it's just, again, the, the whole industry and the whole trade is just uh, – it's just a big family. It's, it's, it's just something, you know, um, we really enjoy being a part of. So, um, Cam, any closing thoughts from you and Lisa today? No, thanks for having us. We really appreciate it. Um, like I said, we're having a great year also, and I know you guys are. Uh, I love hearing the success stories out there. Everybody's moving forward and hard charging. That's what it's all about. You got to be that person. You can't lay back in this industry, you know. You got to go get them. So, uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys soon. And, uh, you know, like I said, between Spartan, the, the relationship we have, it's a great one, and I couldn't ask for a better one. So thank you guys. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. Cam, you and Lisa, thank you guys very much for being on the ProCast today. Uh, I'll definitely be in touch. Let's uh, let's get on a phone call next week and uh, game plan for the next quarter here. But uh, you guys have a great weekend, all right? Sounds good. You too. Be safe. Thanks. All right. Thanks, sir. All right. Take care. Good guy. I like that guy. Yeah. Now, him and his wife are, are very good people. Um Let's see, Josh Browns need to get these part numbers so I can keep them on my truck. We can, we can, we can make that happen if we got any left in stock. We probably need to put another order in here. I just, so I just saw, I just guys. saw Emily off screen. She carried about forty of them by. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Emily is fulfilling orders as we were doing this. Um, it's one guys, of the things I can lift on my own. So. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you know, I like how Cam called me an Olympic athlete. That was that. Oh yeah, I love, yeah, I like that, that part, guy. Yeah. <laughs> he was kind of sitting back away from the screen, so I'm I'm questioning yeah. maybe you know the vision thing was off. 
2020, still bench press the Buick. Don't get it. <laughs> so. Oh, boy. Hey, guys, listen, it was great to have Cam and Cam on, and I know Lisa was in the background helping him out. Thank you guys again. Uh, I know we did talk about safety. Guys, that's the number one thing about this product is safety. And, again, it's something that you think you might not need right now, but it's just like that six-foot ladder you got to have on your truck. I'm going to keep pounding that. You know, you're going to get to a situation where you really wish you had this on here. And Eric, you know, Cam said, you know, he got guys that come come up to him at the wet show and say, you saved me $15,000 last year. Yeah. Guys, no brainer. So if you have any questions about the products, uh, Emily's got a, a link in the description here in the comments. You know, feel free to reach out to us and uh, you know, feel free to reach out to territory managers. They should have them on the trucks. They can come out and do a demo and, if they're 240 pounds of raw steel like myself, they can demonstrate jumping on top of it. So <laughs> raw steel. Absolutely. Oh boy. Eric M, what else you guys got? Well, we got episode 13 next week. Um, same time, same place. It's gonna be model 300 overview. So a uh, good look at one of our bread and butter machines. Who's one doing that? Favorite. I think Eric favorite. is. He's on deck. All right. Uh, Brian Elliott, thanks for giving Josh Brown the part number. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we ought to get maybe we ought to get Elliott up here and have him do the 300 overview. Right. All right, Eric, any closing thoughts for today? No, like I said, TGIF. It's been a long, it's been a long week. We got we got lots of hard work to do. It's end of month. We got to get stuff out the door for our good customers. So mm -hmm. Yeah, we're uh, we're slugging away hard. We got a couple days left in the month, so making it happen. And guys, we would be a little remiss if we didn't mention it, but continue to stay safe out there. Um, you know, I am in Butler County, Ohio, and our neighboring county, our sister county of Hamilton County, which is Cincinnati, just got blasted yesterday uh, with new cases. I know I think Texas alone had 6,000 new cases yesterday. Please continue to be safe. Continue to practice social distancing. You know, especially the trade that we're in, wash those hands as frequently as you can. We all want to get through this together. So please stay safe this weekend. Have a nice, relaxing weekend. Sewer Raiders, signing off. <laughs>